Okay, so in this video, we're going to use Edison so that we can create a loop from a sample we have obtained and then bring that into the playlist and I'll show you how we can quickly adjust it to our tempo. So for this example, I'll use the lost piano loop from the sample pack provided. This can be used with any sample you wish to work with, and it's just a technique. So the first thing we need to do is open up Edison. If we go to our top transport at the top, we've got this icon here with the scissors and bit of audio. That's gonna open up Edison for us. Now Edison is a built-in audio editor inside FL Studio. It's really useful for some more in-depth audio related editing that wouldn't necessarily be good to do on the playlist. So to bring the audio in, we can just drag from here and it's gonna land there for us. I'm just gonna double click on stop to stop all sound playback. So Edison is pretty simple to use. We've got a transport quite simply up the top and we've got a whole bunch of editing tools in here. We don't need to use too many of them. I'll just show you the main features we need to achieve what we're after. For our example here, we want maybe four hits of the piano. We want that to be in sync with our track. So if we were to play it back. Okay, and just for argument's sake, let's say we've decided we just want these first four chords played here. What we would do is we would click in Edison and drag. That gives us this red marker here. This is gonna highlight and allow us to drag just this particular area away. So we'll get that roughly to where we want it to be and we'll press play. Now hopefully you heard that little pop at the end. I really wanted you to hear that. This is something we need to look at straight away and try and mitigate as much as possible. So this is to do with the audio being cut while something else is still playing. We can mitigate this by finding what's called a zero crossing. So if we use our mouse wheel on Edison, we can zoom in. Equally, we can grab the handles at the bottom here. We're going to zoom right into this point here and this here this is what's causing that pop because this sound has started and then suddenly stops what we need to do is bring it back to a point where it crosses the zero which is the middle point here so if we do this here we should no longer hear that pop Perfect. So to bring this piece of audio onto the playlist, we use this icon just here. It says drag copy sample selection. So the sample selection is the area highlighted in red. If we click on here and move the mouse, Edison minimizes and we can drop the audio anywhere on the playlist. So that is how we can bring a loop from Edison onto the playlist. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how we can understand in Edison what some of the keys are that have been created and how we can use that. We'll then look at how we can manipulate the loops brought onto the playlist and sync them with your project.